Hey guys, it's Kay. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. So happy to have you here today. I am going to be doing a holiday look that will look good on anybody. This is going to be just a super simple yet glam look. I'm going to do more of a deep dive into my current base routine. This stuff can change all the time, but this is currently what I'm doing now today that I've been loving, that's been working for me. And don't mind these, I have these patches on from Hero. They were, I think it was like $12 for a pack of three. I hope, wish there was more in there, but I absolutely love these patches, so I'm going to be using them in the future for sure. But with the holidays coming up, you know, whatever holidays you do or do not celebrate, it's always a good time for a good glam. So I feel like I'm talking a little weird too because I have these on. I feel like I can't really do a lot with my face. So if I seem a little stiff, that's why. I'm going to do my brows off camera per usual. And then I'm going to come back on here and we're going to go ahead and dive in. Oh, but before I go, most importantly, a huge tip that I highly recommend is if you're ever doing your brows, do not put any skincare on until your products are done and laid. Just trust me, trust the process. If you've tried to do your brows before and it really wasn't, it was like slipping and sliding and it wasn't coming out the way you want, I guarantee you one of the reasons could be because you did your skincare beforehand. Especially I'm going to be using a lot of moisturizing products so we cannot have that on before brows. It just doesn't work with the brow product itself. And yeah, it's just, it's just not that cute. First product I'm going to use is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. This was super popular back in the day and I stopped using it for a while. And then just like a month or two ago, I busted it back out and I was like, <sighs> I was like, why did I ever stop using this? It is so good. I skip out on like the normal skincare and serum. I do because it's just going to be sitting under makeup all day and sometimes that can break me out. The L'Oreal Lumi Lotion, Glotion, excuse me. <laughs> I did try the Charlotte Tilbury one in like a sample pack. I love it. I think it's nice. I don't know. This is more... I, I gravitate towards this too. You can really do either, but I normally go in with the... Gonna rub this in. You really don't need a lot. I always use, I always put on more than I need. But this just really gives me such a nice base. Look at that glow. Cute. I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter Ultra Glow Face Primer. I actually got this for free when I used to work at Ulta. Definitely miss those perks. Um, so I just take two pumps of this. A dupe would probably be just the e.l.f. primer grip. The e.l.f. grip primer, yeah. Um, cause it gives you a nice grip, but I don't know, I like this better than the e.l.f. one. So I would recommend spending the extra buck, but it does, it gives you such a nice glow. And I used this primer on my best friend when I did her makeup and she immediately, I really see stain. Oh my god. Fuck. Oh well. It's not really showing. <laughs> and she went out and bought it because she was like, what is that? It helps your makeup stay on, but it does just give you that nice glow and it just it feels really good on the skin. <laughs> like, what the fuck happened? I don't understand. Did something bitch weird fact about my mom she's like a stain removing queen so any stain i have she always gets it out so i'm gonna need her services <laughs> because damn anyway so you see my brows as is right now cute but just wait like this is really the importance of carving out your brows i don't even care if you do like a tiny bit of something on your brows you need to carve them out it really just helps i'm like <laughs> really just helps more than you know and I'm going to just show you proof just taking my favorite beauty blender of all time as you all 
snow. I'm just gonna be blending this out. Just see that magic. But yeah, come on. Like, remember where we started? Like I said, it wasn't bad. It wasn't that my brows looked like shit, but you can just really tell the difference. So I'm just taking the NYX brow glue. I really have to get a new one. I think I'm gonna go to Target after today, after I film this and pop it on. So sticking my brows up, it just really helps everything come together. But most of the time I don't set my um i don't set my brows but i'm just gonna take a little bit of pressed powder and set just a little bit just so there's no creasing as i mentioned i'm gonna keep it super simple the only thing that's gonna be a little difficult is going to be the wing because to me wing just screams like holidays like thanksgiving christmas like this time of the year a nice sexy wing just like screams holidays to me i don't know maybe it's just me but i'm gonna take just a warmer a warmer brown shade any of them really it's not that important this is just gonna go in my crease and i'm just taking a bigger fluffy brush and i'm just placing this in here just to give my eye a little bit of color in there and I'm even gonna bring it up a little bit, put it around my brow. And it doesn't have to be precise or anything. Literally, it's just to get some color in there. All right. So once you have that color in there, I'm just gonna take another brush, any brush really. I still can't believe I stained my shirt. It's so annoying. And um, just a brighter, kind of like whiter shade. Just go under your brow, just to highlight under your brow. And I swear this little technique, it just, okay, so look at this here. Look at that and then look over here. It's not as polished, it's not as cute, it's not as polished. I swear it's really the little details that can turn your makeup from kind of basic to just cleaner. Like, look at that. It's just a little bit right there. I'm using the e.l.f liquid eyeliner it's really not my favorite i'm just using it because i have it i need to get a better one i think i'm gonna get the nyx one um i can't talk while i do my winged liner so bear with me i'm gonna just show you while i do it but i'm not gonna really talk because i have to focus <laughs> but yeah like i was saying i used to wear a winged liner and lashes every day in high school um such a funny time to remember but i was wearing lashes and shit when nobody was wearing them so i was like a foreign concept like I would have people ask me like dudes and like girls like why do you like wear that every day like why are you doing winged liner every day like i could never like it's a lot of makeup and now look at where we are in the world and they're all doing it <laughs> actually did it off camera just because i don't do wings that often anymore so i kind of need to focus and not just be like holding my mirror and my hand shaking just pop my wings on i curled my lashes through a little bit of mascara on to prep for my falsies i'm going to be using the ardell foam ink wispies these are probably like, excuse me. <laughs> These are probably like my favorite lash at the moment. Pop these on real quick and then I will be right back to start my base. Okay, so I just popped these lashes on and now the finishing touches. This is really what's gonna tie it and make it look very like holiday glam. So I'm using the Fenty Beauty How Many Carrots, uh, what's it called, Diamond Bomb? Yeah. This is supposed to be a highlighter, but it, like I said, it's so sparkly. I normally just use it for this trick. So actually, let me do this one. So I'm just popping that right on top. And it just really takes this look just to a different level. It's so simple, but so effective. Getting into my base. This is like my holy grail product. This Fenty Beauty, what's it, their eShop Blur, Blur and Smooth Tint Stick. This is everything. Like, I'm gonna repurchase this forever. I know it doesn't look like a lot, but I literally use this every day. And this has lasted me for like a good two months since I've had it. And I really like using the Tint and Blur Stick even like underneath foundations because it does a really good job at getting rid of my rosacea and some of my acne scars. It just adds just a different 
what am I saying? It just adds another layer of coverage, but you can wear this by itself, under foundation, with foundation, like this is not gonna budge what you have going on. Then, this is my favorite foundation at the moment. This is the L'Oreal True Match Nude Hyaluronic Tinted Serum. This is so good. I don't really use L'Oreal that much, not for any specific reason, but I tried this because I wanted to film something from my TikTok, just like a different product that I'm not really seeing, and I could do without the dropper, but this shit is bomb. It's so lightweight, it doesn't feel like foundation at all. I'm just gonna buff this in. I mean, it's a tinted serum, but it just looks so beautiful on the skin. Drag it down a little bit. Then once you feel like that's pretty much blended, that's when I'm gonna take my beauty blender that is like the tiniest bit damp. I'm just going over it. I like to do my concealer next to let it sit. So I'm just putting my Too Faced Born This Way concealer. And then letting that sit while I do my contour has been absolutely key. And I really love this uh, Rare Beauty one. I'm going to always repurchase this. This is so nice. I love the way it blends. So I'm just taking it and putting it there. Over here. Those Hero under eye patches definitely made my under eye a little weird, so I had to blend it out a little bit more than normal, and it just kind of made it look a little funky. So don't use that before you use under eye makeup. So just use those for the days that you're not, even though that's like defeating the purpose or whatever. So now I'm going to set the rest of my face using my Huda Beauty setting powder, the translucent one. NYX Matte Bronzer, this is my favorite one, and I'm just setting that Rare Beauty contour. Kind of patting it in here. That bronzer, and I'm gonna lightly contour my nose. So now it's telling me to take that, not liquid. You know what I mean? The wet part. What the fuck am I saying? Cream. Cream. Okay. And then put it on top in there. Ooh. Okay. For the final steps, first is highlighter. So I'm gonna take my Benefit Cookie Highlighter and place that very strategically. Right here. Right here. Taking that white shade 
and popping it in here. Is the final look I'm trying to cover the stain with my hair this is the final look I really hope you guys enjoyed this video I am obsessed let me just tell you I just went and looked in the mirror like turned the bathroom lights on and I was like hold up like this is the signature holiday look I want everybody to try I think this is gonna look stunning on everybody and it's just one of my favorite looks that I've done on my channel. It's nothing even super crazy, but it's just perfect. It's simple. And then a little bit, like, bit of a red lip, kind of. Like, it's not a true red lip, but it's got little bits of red in there. It's kind of like a cherry lip. I just love it. I'm obsessed. I think it looks so good. Oh my god, and this, this blush, like, come on right now. I just want to thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel here. I would love to have you. I would love to have you stick around. So please go ahead and subscribe. If you haven't already, go follow me on my social media. My TikTok and Instagram is both at dust to dawn glam. So make sure you go follow me on there. And yeah, please recreate this look. If you do, let me know in the comments how it looks. I would love to see it on you because this is everything right now. <laughs> But thank you guys again for watching and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.